monitoring the compliance of the stay-at-home directive against the spread of COVID-19 in Delta State, PMTV Nigeria visits the mobile court setup to observe the situation report of the fortas who were charged to court. Are you liable or not liable? Michael, do you understand the charge? Are you liable or not liable? Adugo, do you understand the charge? Are you liable or not liable? The jurisdiction of the mobile court, which is located at College Junction, covers Ika South and Ika North East local government area of the state. Present at the mobile court sitting is the Chief Magistrate Special Grade, S.A. Anine, the Prosecutor, Assistant Chief Legal Officer from Ministry of Justice, F.O. Osiche, Legal Practitioners and other court officials. In a press briefing with the Chief Magistrate Special Grade, he disclosed the procedure of how the case of the defaulters are being treated. The lockdown order is to restrict people from moving from place to place. People stay at home. So <coughs> vehicular movement is restricted, is prohibited, and uh, vehicles, motor vehicles and uh, motorcycles, mm, those ones who are found moving and, and they, they don't have any genuine reason for being out, they are flattered that regulation. I will send them, give them option of fine. So it is not a, a way of raising money for government, but to discourage people from coming out. There are people who really have genuine reasons. So there are some people who just treat their case and would, because it's almost like street liability. Once you are found outside, you've breached the the law. But after converting you now, we will not listen to you. If you give the new reason for being found outside, we'll just caution you and discharge you. Mm -hmm. So you can even see this young man, he was taking the baby to hospital and they seized his vehicle. We have treated his case, we caution him and ask him to go. People who go, who are going to the hospital, who are coming from the hospital, who went to buy food stuff and they have the food stuff with them to show, or he went to buy fruits, food stuff the same. Well, if we have those ones, who we'll we'll caution those people and discharge them because this exercise is not to is not to generate revenue for government. We have uh, we have strict um, directive from our chief registrar that we should give just minimal fine of one thousand to three thousand. And since the beginning of our sitting uh, four or five days ago, it is only one person that we have even fined. Uh, 3,000 as a motor vehicle. All the other persons that we are fine range between 1 to 2,000 naira. And there are a lot of persons too that we have found reason to just caution and discharge when they have genuine reason to be found outside. It, it, it is not true also that we will send them to prison. The court procedure is that you will say you are sent to so weeks almost in prison or to pay a fine. So it is the option of fine. I will give a very low fine which we know that the person is able to pay. So let me also tell you that there is nobody who is in custody on account of our proceedings so far to date. No one person. If I have that kind of person from you now, I would like to see the person. Let the person come. Let him send message from prison that he has been sent to prison. There's nobody like that who is in prison on account of our... And there's nobody who has been fined an amount in excess of 2,000 naira, except one person with 5, 3,000. Nothing like that. That one is a lie. The lockdown order is, it is not to protect the governor, it is to protect the individual. If you see, if we listen to news that is coming from abroad, we are even lucky in Nigeria. And the, the virus is such a way that uh, it, you can only get it when you come in contact with somebody who has contacted it. So the purpose of the 14 days uh, stay at home order is that within that 14 days, anybody who has contact with it should have manifested the symptom which will enable the person to go for treatment. So it is for the benefit of the people that have had to stay indoors. It's a responsible government that have made that order to protect its citizens. And you can see that every day the governor is addressing the state, giving daily account of what have been, what uh, have been happening, 
if we have a new case, he will tell us. If somebody have tested negative, he will tell us. They are making preparation. The isolation centers, different isolation numbers to be called. The people who are in charge, committees have been set up. So they are in charge. They are doing a lot to make sure that uh, they sensitize the society in respect of this coronavirus, which we pray, hopefully, it cannot be here for forever. Judges was read to their hearing, after which verdict delivered accordingly. Uh, for the record, say the record of previous conviction, Neil, then explain to them a look at this. The court has found you liable. Do you have anything to tell the court? You can speak. Okay, okay, go on, go on. Where is the motto now? The motto has gone. The thing is that. As government say, make people know what kind of bags. Eh? You didn't hear me? Government made provision for people. If you go buy food, they not go hold you. Hmm? Wait, if you go hospital, they not go hold you. You didn't hear me? Yes. But if they see you for road, say, you not hold anything for hand. If not the motor when they carry you with yam, now they bring you so, police not go hold you. But what the government they against is that, may they see you say, you they enter motor, they move from place to place, they go hold you. So now, what you tell us, so if you believe, if you not believe, and it can be true, if you not be true. So they don't see you for outside now, you dance up for people. You were traveling, you were traveling, you were traveling. Some were discharged with no fine. Why those with no cogent reasons were fined for the 14? I came to the mobile court to take my bike because when they seize your bike, you will come to the mobile court. Okay. Yeah, so they have granted me bail. I'm going to the station now to take my bike. When the magistrate saw the bandage, he said, okay, I have no fault that I must go for treatment. And this, he, say, he gave me a written note. I should go to the station and take my bike. Okay. Yeah. So before your bike was seized, didn't you show this to the police? No, when the I was not on the bike when the bike was seized. It was the bike man that used to carry me. I was waiting for him. So for like 30 minutes, I didn't see him. I called him. Where are you? He said the vigilante has taken the bike to the station. So I have to come myself. So when I came here, they released the bike. Yeah. So you've been cleared now? Yeah, I've been cleared now. Option. No fine, no option, nothing, nothing. Okay. Yeah, the police and the mobile court, they see reasons with me, yes. They are not arresting for nothing. Okay. When you have a good proof, Arrest. they will leave you. If the, we are offended the law of a government, if you don't pay, if then can go detail us three, uh, three months, if not, we will pay one, one thousand. The magistrates therefore advise the people to abide to the directive as it is for their good. Reporting is Chinoinim Kennedy, PMTV News.